And the one thing about us and everything, all of us, is that when we do things, we try to do it well. When I make a turkey, I try to make it the most tasty turkey that you're ever going to pass <laughs> down by your tonsils. If right. you know Rob, if Rob is doing was doing a production for his um for I remember when you were doing your jazz show, you were trying to do it the best way possible. Grant, you make the best chicken wings in the whole city of Detroit. We're going to make it good no matter what. Okay, Absolutely. the production and the production on the show is probably better than the average podcast or conversation because of the fact that we do have some background in it. And because we have background in it, we're going to naturally make a show that's naturally a little bit better. And, you know, the next step is always, do you want, where do you want to take it from here? Do you want to make it a bigger thing or do you not want to make it? But if you try to make it a bigger thing, it's like the likes, trying to get likes is detrimental to your soul. It really is in a lot of ways that because of the ways that you have to go about doing it and the things you have to do to, in order to go about making yourself seem like you're popular. You have to post a lot of times during the course of the day. I'm not going to do that. You know, who has time to do that shit all day? You have to consistently promote your shows. You have to consistently look for topics that are controversial in order to drive your traffic. You've got to say the wildest, craziest things in order to drive your traffic. We just say that we just, I don't want to do that show. I want to do this show that we've been doing where we just come in. Y'all already crazy a fuck enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the whole beauty of this show is that everyone that comes here, everyone that has been handpicked to be on this show, has a point of view where they come out and they express that point of view. And to me, it's just like, whether it's good or bad, we've all said things that you would go, Ugh, like, you know, at different times and everything, but that's what makes it real. That's what makes it authentic. We're not moving towards more authentic shows and interactions in the world. It seems like we're like moving towards like authenticity and everyone else's swimming towards the sea of, you know what I'm saying, what happened in 1996 to keep it. This person is finally getting their comeuppance. <laughs> saying none of the shit that's good for us, aesthetically, personally, none of it's going into that pot and that pie anymore. And I just don't, I, I'm not here for it. I'm not. There's young people that tell that want to tell me different things about what's going on with lives that a life that I've led because, and that's what a lot of this stuff is. They say, okay, well, we're just free. We just say what the fuck we want. No, nah, y'all just be running off at the fucking mouth. Y'all be talking about shit. You have no clue about, you don't have any understanding instead of like humbling yourself and getting that understanding from a place of, from a place where you can actually take in the information. It comes out, y'all come up with this confrontational bullshit. Like somebody from our generation is going to take it. Most people in our generation that are still in, that are still like in shape or have their wits about them will tell you like, fuck you. And like, walk away or fuck off, <laughs> motherfucker. Right. No right. time for your little shit. We ain't even thinking about you past the question. You know, no, I don't know what his problem was. He don't got no problem. He fucking turned around and walked away from your ass. You don't give a fuck what you're wondering about. No. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, like seriously. But we are we are in this age where we get these these dumb questions and they're never gonna get the answers because they're they are more like puff than we are. They don't understand that these people that were that they grew up watching and idolizing their caricatures. They're not me they're meant to be emulated. But I I don't get it, bro. I, I I think that they they emulate people. They they try to mimic these people because they want what they have, and that's the only reason, right? It's the it's not it's not a true it, it it's not the true person that they trying to mimic. It's it's. It's the what lifestyle, the person it's has. the trappings. It's the, right, it's the lifestyle, exactly. 
Nobody wants to be original anymore. No. Nobody wants to be themselves. Original is hard.